Hello everyone, this video is about a topic from data communication and this is done by a group of students from the M Polytechnic. Before we get started, we would like to say that all of the submission is original and it is not lifted from other sources. This presentation is about signal attenuation and its causes. Now, what is signal attenuation? Signal attenuation is the loss of signal strength while the digital or analog signals are transmitted over long distance. This attenuation can be measured in decibels or watts. Attenuation can occur when the signals are transmitted by either wire connection or wireless connection. These are some of the parameters that causes attenuation. They are travel distance, the size of the wire, cross talk from adjacent cabling, and defective connectors and conductors. One of the causes of the signal attenuation is the travel distance. As the distance that the signals are transmitted increases, the strength of the signals decreases. This applies for both wired and wireless transmission. Okay, now let's talk about the wire size. For wire transmission network, there is more signal attenuation in thinner wire than the thicker wire. Since the thicker wire has more space, it will have lower resistance, which will help the signal to easily flow through the thicker wire. When this way, the thicker wire will have less signal attenuation. Okay, now let's move to the another cause, which is crosstalk. Before we talk about the crosstalk, what is crosstalk? Crosstalk is a phenomenon which is a signal transmitter on one channel of a transmission system create an undesired effect in another channel. There are five types of crosstalk in cabling. These are near end crosstalk, NEHT, power sun near crosstalk, PSNEHT, far end crosstalk, FEHT, equal level far end crosstalk, ELFEHT, and alien crosstalk, AHT. Now, let's move on to the another course. This is about the defective conductor and conductors. Since the signal cannot conduct or conduct properly, then we have the loss of signals, which is known as attenuation. Once the conductor or the conductors become defective, they are no longer able to maintain the signal and can cause to the attenuation. Now let's move to the another session. We will see how to calculate the loss dB. How can we calculate the loss in decibels from input power or 2020 milliwatts and output power or 220 milliwatts? We are using a formula for loss, which is the loss in dB equals to 10 times the log of the ratio of power in over power out. So let's get started! So first, let's calculate the ratio, and it will be 2020 milliwatts over 220 milliwatts, which results in 9.1818. Then, we will calculate the log of 9.1818, which gives us the 0.9629. Finally, we will multiply 0.9629 with 10. So the loss is 9.629 decibels. Now, I hope you all understand more about attenuation and how to calculate the loss. Now, I want to present the reference that we are using in this video.